Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hello, it's me, Long One again. I just wanted to know a trade that the Browns get for a tight end number two. We already have Harrison Bryant. You know, David and Joke was already unlocked. I was thinking of a free big agent name, like Jordan Atkins out there for the Texans. He's been pretty productive this season. Another name that comes to mind is Janal Everett. I love him in the Chargers. He was a very good productive tight end, too. Another one is Irv Smith from the Vikings. I like a lot of stuff about him. I liked him as a player in college. And I just wanted to know y'all's thoughts on which tight end or what we should get. Thank you. Bye. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Um, Jeff, I, all the guys he mentioned are pretty good. Uh, um, Aikens played with uh, Deshaun. Everett's been pretty good. Um, I think they're going to be playing more three-wide receiver sets, so I, I don't know that they necessarily will try to get another free agent tight end. I'd rather see him go and, and upgrade the wide receiver position pretty significantly. Yeah, I, I would feel the same way. Uh, there are good tight ends out there, and it's also a, a case. Irv Smith is an interesting one because he he missed most of the season. Uh, he actually got injured. That's why the Vikings made their trade to get T.J. Hawkinson in, uh, and uh, so he he could be a bargain basement guy. Like you sign him this off season, uh, and you know, okay. He's you know hopefully he can resolve the of late and deal, but that's the type of th- a tight end that I think you're going to get in here. Uh, I'd, I'd actually like to see them get a blocking tight end more than a, another receiving style of tight end. I think that's something that you can use uh, a little bit better. But yeah, I'm with you. you we've got to get better wide receivers in this room, uh, specifically, you know, just guys that that are reliably open in the intermediate range because that's where Deshaun does. That's that's where he's at his best, and right now that's not. It doesn't match up with where the, the, the Browns wide receivers are working at their best. So uh, they've definitely got to improve the wide receiving room. And, you know, what, uh, getting a running back that can catch out of the backfield. Uh, if, if Kareem isn't back, if, you know, things, the dynamics change there, uh, that's something that they have to look at as well.